the 20th anniversary of SpaceX this year is marked with a ton of accomplishments, but the largest of them all is still to come. By launching the Starship prototype into orbit for its inaugural mission, SpaceX intends to close the year with a boom. What other plans does the spaceship have for 2023? And what strategy does SpaceX have for the company's other rockets? Come and explore how SpaceX intends to transform the industry in 2023 here at Elon Musk Center, our YouTube channel. And all you have to do is press the subscribe and like button and then sit back and relax and enjoy the video. The plan for Starship in its most recent testing, SpaceX performed several statistic fire tests on the spaceship prototype's upper stage and booster 07. The vehicle's 14 engines underwent testing, more than double the previous of peak 7 mechanisms. The Starship's 33 Raptor engines are expected to fire up before this year is up, making it the most powerful operational rocket in the world for a brief while during the 14 engine static fire test. Unfortunately, SpaceX hasn't released any formal statements, at least not yet. The first orbital flight won't occur until the first quarter of 2023. There are no guarantees and the business still needs to put forth immense effort to prevent catastrophic malfunctions. SpaceX has progressed from its cowboy stage to a high tolerance for risk and failure. Consider that if the pricey launch tower is damaged. There are currently numerous missions planned for Starship after its first test flight is finished, which ought to occur by the end of the year or at least by the beginning of 2023. The Dear Moon The Dear Moon project, led by Japanese designer Moko Yusaka Maizawa, will launch in 2023 following the flight test. Maizawa had initially intended to spend six days circumnavigating the moon with a group of artists, but those plans have now changed. The mission is now accessible to people from all backgrounds as long as they identify as artists. Some of the supporting cast for the Dear Moon project include photographer Rhiannon Adam, Grammy-nominated music producer Steve Aoki, and photographer and filmmaker Karim Ilya. Maizawa has paid for every ticket in the spaceship for the Dear Moon project because he thinks regular flights will start in 2023 if everything goes as planned. After the 14-engine static fire test went well, SpaceX was given a $1.15 billion contract to the Starship Lunar Lander and launch a second, less-than-stellar mission. This deal, modified from his contract with SpaceX's Option B human landing system, was announced on November 15, 2022. Option B – Crew According to Lisa Watson Morgan, the program's manager, continuing our collaborative efforts with SpaceX through Option B furthers our resilient plans for regular crew transportation to the lunar surface and establishing a long-term human presence under Artemis. Lisa Watson Morgan is the manager for the Human Landing System program at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville in Alabama. The Option B crewed mission, even so, would be Artemis IV, a mission planned to focus on the Lunar Gateway and not a landing, according to an agency official who announced it in August. This demonstrates how quickly plans can change in the aerospace sector, and more adjustments will likely occur depending on the progress of the Starship and other elements affecting the Artemis program. Aspirations for the Falcon SpaceX had an amazing year in 2022, breaking its records and establishing new benchmarks for the aerospace industry. By the end of July, the business had successfully launched 32 Falcon 9 rockets, breaking its previous record for orbital launches in a calendar year. As the CRS-26 mission blasted off from Launchpad 39A on a resupply run to the International Space Station in November, SpaceX had successfully flown 52 flights. The company's Falcon 9 rocket has been launched 139 times since its introduction, surpassing the Atlas V rocket to become the most accomplished and operational spacecraft in the United States. A new second stage is needed for every Falcon 9 launch. However, the rocket is recycled. This makes the Falcon 9 one of the most dependable and secure rockets in history. With SpaceX producing and shipping a new Falcon second stage every 6.2 days, but SpaceX plans to accomplish more in 2023. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? 
Well, I'd say it's time to subscribe to the track that brings you the hottest news. And remember to like this video. It really motivates us to get more fun and interesting videos. Thank you. Now, let's get back to the video. Elon Musk disclosed that the company intends to triple its accomplishments by 2023 and strive for up to 100 launches. The aim Musk proposes is unachievable since, despite SpaceX's amazing success, no rocket family, not even the Soyuz, let alone a single model of the Falcon, has accomplished more than 61 successful launches in a single year. But it's only partially un. SpaceX significantly enhanced its launch capacity in 2021, increasing it by over 50% over 2022. So far, SpaceX has improved itself by accelerating its launches throughout the year, carrying out as many sizable missions as it can in a month. The business will need to figure out how to deploy at least 8 times per month to reach its objective of 100 Falcon launches in 2023. This will represent a 33% improvement over the business's initial 6 launch months, which it was content with. Also, with little to no downtime, all three Falcon launch pads will need to be operating at their quickest turnaround times, if feasible, together with deliberate planning, speedy recovery, and the reuse of the Falcon booster. SpaceX is capable of supporting up to 115 launches per year. The Polaris Dawn mission, headed by millionaire Jared Isaacman, will be launched by the Falcon 9 to reach the milestone of 100 launches. This mission aims to fly the highest Earth orbit ever, utilizing the Falcon 9 and Dragon to the furthest extent possible. The crew of the Falcon 9 will undergo the first commercial spacewalk, orbit the Van Allen radiation belt, and conduct research for upcoming space missions. Intentionally intended for late 2022, the Polaris Dawn mission was moved to March in 2023. Starlink Gen 2 since the speed of version 1 satellites continues to decrease, Elon Musk declared that SpaceX has created the next generation of satellites for low orbit. These satellites are considerably larger than the version 1 satellite, which weighed only 573 pounds, or one-fifth of the version 2 satellites, which by the way were 22 feet long and weighed roughly 2,755 pounds. Given the satellites' weight, not even Falcon Heavy has the power to launch them into proper orbit. Thus, SpaceX will need to get their spaceship ready for the voyage. The corporation plans to launch 29,988 Falcon satellites into low orbit to solve the continuously decreasing broadband speed brought on by more people joining the network. The launch is scheduled for 2023 after SpaceX finally received permission from the Federal Communications Commissions to launch its satellites, subject to some conditions. Only 7,500 satellites can be found in the aerospace company in orbits lower than 30,660 kilometers. The FCC explained its choice to limit the quantity of the Gen 2 satellite launches in a statement. Despite admitting that the decision was based on the advice of Amazon's Project Creeper, a significant rival of the Starship, the idea that it was made to address concerns about orbital debris and space safety is still true. But, given that the FCC previously permitted SpaceX to launch 3,000 smaller satellites into orbit higher than 604 kilometers without incident, and provided that its current claims about orbital debris and space safety as reasons for its decision are, at best, implausible, this decision is a little suspicious and inconsistent. The year 2023 is shaping up to be exciting for SpaceX, as the business plans to exceed targets, achieve new milestones, and be one of the busiest ever for the global space sector. Let's share some fascinating information about SpaceX before we conclude this video. SpaceX is the first private firm to launch humans into orbit and operates the world's largest commercial satellite constellation. And with that, we end the video, so share your thoughts in the comment section below on whether you believe the Starship prototype will fly by the end of the year, or what breakthroughs and exploration you hope to see in the future years. If you like this video, don't forget to turn on all notifications when you subscribe to Elon Musk Center, and click the bell symbol to watch more captivating videos.